Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. It's June the 15th of 2018. Folks, I could not believe my eyes when I ran across this story right here. This story was dated June the 14th, 2018, yesterday. Folks, anybody that's into conspiracy theory no doubt remembers a couple years ago the stories going around about Walmart underground bunkers, the mysterious closings uh, of these Walmarts across America. Employees without notice were given a pink slip, told the store is closing down. The excuse at the time was that the plumbing needed to be repaired. Folks, that led to a lot of conspiracy theories and speculations of these Walmarts, the potential of them being turned into some sort of prisons or housing centers. At the time, it was all speculation. Folks, take a look at this title right here. This is from ABC News. A look inside the Walmart turned immigration detention center for children. Children, folks, immigrant children separated from their parents, being held prisoner inside of Walmart's turned detention centers. Folks, unbelievable here. Just a couple of years ago, the mainstream media, everybody said this was just crazy conspiracy theory, folks. And here you have it right before your very eyes as being fact. For the first time since the Trump administration announced its zero tolerance policy on illegal immigration, a small group of journalists was allowed into the country's largest licensed shelter for undocumented children. Imagine being 10 years old, separated from your mother or father, not understanding why, and being taken to a hulking, windowless building filled with 1,500 other kids you've never met. You're allowed to make two phone calls a week, one of which hopefully is to a detained parent now thousands of miles away. That's the reality we saw. Folks, here you can see walls, a bed over here, hooks on the wall, towels hanging A, B, C, and D. A Walmart turned shelter houses almost 1,500 undocumented children. The shelter is clean and well staffed with activities that keeps the kids busy and their minds off their unfortunate situa situation. The kids we saw for the most part looked content, no crying, no one slouched in the corner. But this was also the media tour. The, and journalists weren't allowed to interview any of the children. Who knows what happens when the lights go out and they're left alone with their thoughts. The facility is called the Casa Padre. It's in Brownsville, Texas. In what was once a Walmart, about 1,500 boys ages 10 to 17 now call it home. It's the largest licensed facility in the country. The vast majority of the boys cross illegally and unaccompanied. But Casa Padre is nearing capacity as more children are separated from their parents at the border and shipped there. On this night, 1,469 boys slept there. The official capacity is 1,497. An extra bed has been added to each room which means there are five bunks inside a 10 by 24 foot space. The children get three meals a day and two snacks. They have access to video games, pool tables, and classes where they can learn English and U.S. civics. The children are each assigned a clinician to help them deal with separation, trauma, and mental health issues. The children spend about two hours outside, one hour in the morning and one in the afternoon. There are soccer and basketball courts. The children nonetheless spend most of their day inside a converted big box store 
and walls of which were plastered with murals of U.S. presidents' quotations from them. Get a load of this, folks. Southwest Key Programs, which ran the tour of the shelter for the group of journalists, operates 26 similar facilities, all of which are nearing capacity. Emergency shelters soon may need to be built to accommodate the inflow of children, the average length of stay for an undocumented child at a facility like Casa Padre is about 56 days. It would be very interesting to find out if these other 26 similar facilities, these Walmart detention centers for illegal immigrant children, if the others too are also in converted big box stores, namely converted Walmarts, folks. Very interesting story here indeed. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.